Yeah, it is, and we found out just a short time ago that that jacking process has actually begun today. They've moved the bridge so far a fraction of an inch, but that is a big step forward. And let me show you what's going on right now underneath the bridge. If we zoom in here, I don't know how well you can see it, but there's actually some water that seems to be pouring out from underneath the bridge as all these workers are up there right now. Not sure what that water is coming from or why that's happening, but we're going to work to find out exactly what that is. Now, we do have a picture of the damaged piece of the bridge. It's called a cord, and you can see it was bent in the fire. It has new braces on either side. PennDOT gave us this image showing the repair setup as well. Jacks that'll push that part of the bridge in three directions to move the bridge structure and stretch the cord back to its normal length. Now the 30 foot section of the bridge is in a very important place right next to the bridge's concrete pier. Enormous amounts of weight pushing down there. We know the whole process can be kind of confusing. So we also today asked PennDOT's district chief Dan Sesta to show us in a picture exactly what his crews did today with that jacking system. What we've done so far today, basically where this gusset plate is at this joint where all these cords come together, we've actually uh, jacked in the direction of the river about a quarter of an inch. And that is significant because you need to get this joint realigned so that it's in the proper place as you start to actually push the the, the member and the bridge in this direction. Now, Cessna did say they plan to do some more of the jacking today in other directions as well, but first they have to move some of the steel structures out of the way so they can get to that. But more progress going to be going on today and also throughout the weekend. Reporting live in the South Side, Bob Hayes in Pittsburgh's Action News 4.